Hello. In the first of this series on meals and the origins of their names, we talked about breakfast. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you haven't seen it. But today we'll be looking at lunch, brunch and snacks. Hi, my name is Alex and this is The English Aeneid. Where we look into what people say in English and why they say it. Let's start off with elevensies. This is a little like brunch and is surprisingly common around the world. In Germany and Poland, it's known as the second breakfast and usually takes place around 10 or 11 o'clock, obviously. It's basically a morning tea with whatever snacks were common locally. The word snack sounds a bit like snap the sound of a breaking twig or wood, or the sudden audible closing of teeth. In other words, a quick bite. Next, we move quickly on to a time that is more acceptable to drink, isn't it? Brunch is a portmanteau word. This means we have squashed together two words so that they become one, like rom-com romance and comedy, or Brexit, British and exit. In this case, it's just a mashup of breakfast and lunch, and is most often used by those too embarrassed to admit that they woke up late and can't call the morning meal breakfast anymore. It is also used as a great excuse to start drinking early. Typical brunch beverages, and try saying that fast, include Bloody Mary, vodka and tomato juice, champagne, spritzers, wine with soda, and screwdrivers, vodka and orange juice. Now the next one is a little bit weird, lunch. Nobody really knows where this word came from, but many believe it originates from an old English word that means a large chunk of bread. Many years ago, there were other variations on the name, Nunchen was one, which is a mix of noon and an old English word shen, meaning to drink. There was also non-meat, again noon plus meat, which is the old spelling of what we now call meat. And this is really going to confuse you because meat doesn't actually mean the flesh or the meat of an animal, it used to mean just a meal. So it was a noon meal. Well, now that your mind has officially been blown, if you have anything you'd like to tell me or ask me, preferably nice things as I'm quite a sensitive soul, please leave a comment below and give us a like if you enjoyed this video and a subscribe if you'd like to see more of them. It really helps us on YouTube algorithm if you do. So have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.